Gemini got recently upgraded and few of these really give it superpowers. Number one, you can now access your notebook LM, all of the notebooks that you have created there with your own research, with your own documents. You can directly access it in your Gemini app. This will allow you to further your research, but now completely grounded with your own data. Second, you now have access to Opal directly as part of the gem. So you can now create mini apps without switching context and without moving to another app altogether. And third, you probably are using this, but if not, this is a massive update where you can now access your entire workspace ecosystem directly in Gemini. So in this video, I'm going to run three different demos covering each one of the scenarios, and I would be very interested to understand which scenario makes the most sense to you. All right, so let's dive in. So now I'm in my Gemini app and the two new things that I wanted to show you was you can now upload directly the notebook LM, your notebooks here, and then you can ask the questions based on that particular context. And if you come here and hover over the gems section, right, you can see now you can create basically apps as part of gems, right, powered by Opal. So we will start with that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new gem over here. And this is where I have obviously a YouTube channel. And in my YouTube channel, you will see that these are all the thumbnails that I have. And I usually have myself in the thumbnail. So what I want to do is I want to create an app that will allow me to create those thumbnails so that I don't have to do this multiple times and I can just ask the gem to do it, right? So create an app that creates a high CTR thumbnail. The user would provide two things, video link and their image. So, you know, you need to analyze the visual content from the YouTube video and emotional hook, then generate three distinct thumbnails using the image provided. I'm not going to ask for long form and short form. I'm just going to say that, okay, then after that, do provide the download link for the final images. So that is what I'm describing and it is off the races. It is now configuring our app in order to create that, right? So we'll give it a few seconds for it to come back and create the app for us. All right, so it looks like it has already created the apps. These are the steps that it is gonna follow, right? So it is gonna ask for the URL, the user image, and then it's gonna analyze the video and then create the thumbnail descriptions, which will be used in order to generate the thumbnails and then finally render the thumbnail in a web page. So let's test this out, okay? So let's just full screen it. And then I'm gonna say that, okay, give me the YouTube link. So I'm gonna take a second to do that. I'm providing the latest YouTube video link, which is my own video. And then I've uploaded my own image as well. Now it is analyzing the video for emotional hooks. So basically because Gemini 3 Pro is multimodal, completely in nature, it can go through the video in detail. And then based on the video and the content of the video, it will be able to create a description for the image to be generated, right? So there are multiple steps that are happening as we look into it. Uh, it is almost done analyzing the video for emotional hooks. So let's wait for a second to see what it comes back with. So here it also describes you where you are in the journey. And these are the different steps that it is taking. Now, while it is doing that, I want to click on the Open Advanced Editor. And this directly takes you into Opal where you can actually go ahead and do, you know, some more editing. So as we saw, it basically takes two different inputs, which is the video URL and the user's image. Then it analyzes the video emotion. And this is where it is using the Gemini 3, you know, Gemini 2.5 model. We can go ahead and change it to Gemini 3 Pro. And this is where you have the capability to go ahead and change these, these models per se, right? So here now, once it is analyzed, it is generating the thumbnail. Again, once you are here in the advanced editor, you can change it to 3 Pro, then it will generate the thumbnails itself. You can again, change it to a different model. In this case, I want the Nano Banana model. And then it, it generates this, right? As soon as you're done with this, it will save. And that also gets reflected in the actual app which you're using within Gemini, right? So it's it seems that it has completed its process. So let's just full screen it. And you can see that it has generated three different thumbnails as we had discussed, right? So completely going through itself through the video. If I look at this one, which is it has created, which is AI personality customization, like hostile AI and an empathetic AI. So the video that I had created was around this, right? So it, it was around giving different personalities to voice agents. So it has done a really good job without me providing any description whatsoever, only by providing the YouTube URL link. When I can obviously make it a little bit more better by adding more interesting, more detailed descriptions around what this video is all about. But just doing this out of the box, I think it is very powerful. So that was the first one which I wanted to showcase. Now, the second one that I want to discuss is this hidden gem where you can actually connect all of your workspace apps directly into Gemini. 
right? So if I click on this, I'm going to allow it to get to connect. And there you go, right? So you, can, you also have all of the capability to connect your YouTube music, etc. But for the moment, we are going to only discuss this particular one. So for this demo, the scenario that I've thought through is something like this, where I'm saying that find the email from Surya Q1 2026 marketing report, summarize the budget proposal from the attached PDF, and then check my calendar for a 30 minute slot next Tuesday to discuss this. This is where it is because we disconnected through workspace. You will see that it is already looking at my, my emails, et cetera, within workspace. And then it should be able to go through that and then come back with a detailed summary around the budget proposal. So th this is where the capability of the interconnectedness of apps when it comes to when it comes to Gemini within Google, it's just crazy. So you can see that it found an email from Surya Kunju on 20 December, which is today, and this is the PDF which was attached. So let's go into this, right? So this is the email which is from today. This is the email that I'd sent. This is the PDF that is attached. So it has done really a wonderful job where it has gone ahead and do that, right? So regarding your calendar next Tuesday, December 23rd, you're completely free because it's my personal ID. So I'm going to say that, okay, book, book my book a slot at 10 a.m. Now I'm actually like asking it to take an action. So let's open the calendar, right? So I just opened my calendar and there you go. You can see already here that it is being scheduled directly from this. So it's already showing that and it could also take you directly from here as well. So that was another one that I wanted to showcase. Amazing that you are able to connect directly your workspace apps from Gemini and it is taking the action for you very easily. Okay, so the last one is a really massive one where you are now able to reuse your notebooks which you have created in Notebook LM directly in Gemini. And these are some of the notebooks that I had created long back. This is one, one around retrieval augmented generation. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Gemini here and I'm going to ask it to upload a notebook and it gives me all the different types of notebooks. I can actually like select multiple. That is another cool feature where you can combine this. So I'm going to say that, okay, to use this one, which is master uh, rag. And I'm going to ask a, a particular question, right? So based on these research paper, create a comparison table between graph rag and standard rag. So this is very interesting because now I'm saying based on these research papers, which is all uploaded here, and you can see over here, when I once I click on this, you can see that these are all the different papers and sources that I've uploaded. So now I'm able to use all of that information just with one prompt, which is completely grounded, which is groundbreaking, by the way. So you can see that based on the research paper provided, you are able to see this. Now, this is specifically created based on the documents that is uploaded on Notebook LM. So this is where you're completely customizing your Gemini information based on the research that you have already done on Notebook LM. Now, Notebook LM is a very good tool and I'm very happy to make a detailed video on that. There are some new things such as data tables, etc., which were just launched this week. So let me know in the comment section if you guys are interested and I'm happy to make that and how it can then be connected to Gemini. But that was the third major update that I wanted to show was to create this, right? So now based on this, create an infograph. So if I type this, then it's going to use the Gemini 3 Nano Banana model in order for it to create the infographic. So suddenly you are able to not only use the research, summarize the information, and then just within Gemini, do a bunch of stuff such as creating this infograph. There you go. So it has done a wonderful job here as well. So that was what I wanted to cover today. I hope you found this helpful. Three quick updates in the world of Gemini app, which is around Notebook LM, around Gems, and then of course using your Google Workspace directly in Gemini. Please let me know in the comment section which ones makes you know a lot of sense to you and which ones do you find most valuable. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please do hit that like button and please subscribe. It helps me a lot. Thank you once again for your time. I will see you in the next one.